Yes, so we can wind. 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 G3, G3, G3. G3 family, welcome back to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. So come on, give your girl a like. Come on, we got to get these likes up, okay? Because they was up and now they back down. I need them, I need them up. Get them up, all right? <laughs> let's, keep this, let's keep these likes up, all right? I want to up and stuck. <laughs> but yeah, give it a like, share, subscribe. Come on, join the G3 family. If you're all about ascension, growth, elevation, this is where you need to be, okay? This is where you need to be. It just is what it is. You over here with me, you on the winning team. You a winner, okay? So drop them other chicken. No, I'm saying I'm not playing. <laughs> drop them other chicken dinners and stick with a winner. Anyway. <laughs> That's little Jerome, little Martin, little Martin. But anyway, G3, oh gosh. I feel like somebody's words are very, very powerful. Or somebody has learned the power of their words. They told me to get a divine feminine card. And that's a fact. So you heard the, the, the horn. Somebody's learned the power of their words. Um, the saint of spoken word, La Ala. Okay, La Ala the saint of spoken words every word i say becomes a prayer i am the author of my own story somebody took control of their tongue because they realized everything that their they spoke happened in their reality and somebody realizes that everything that comes out of their mouth is why they're in some type of shit or why they're in some type of bliss <laughs> So somebody's like, yo, I'm going to take control of my words and I'm going to really learn how to do that. I'm not going to be wasting my words. Yeah, I feel like somebody is not doing as much talking as they used to. Somebody understands that when I speak, I'm going to speak for a reason. I'm going to speak with authority. I'm going to speak with purpose and I'm only going to be speaking truth. Because if I do anything else with this tongue, I just might F something up. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Also, I'm picking up on somebody got the heart for something. Somebody got the heart. Or it's time for, or, or, or somebody, it's like somebody found their heart. Somebody found their heart. It's like, nah, somebody got their power back. Somebody took it. I want it all back. Everything that you took from me, I said, I want it all back. Yeah, somebody's, re somebody's receiving everything that they lost. Give me my stuff back. Yeah, somebody taking their stuff back. Somebody in their power. I want it all. Yeah, was some type of darkness around you. Some type of dark people. Yeah, they was trying to put out your light. They was trying to put out your flame. It was people around you that was trying to put out your flame. They took some things for, from you, but you're in this energy where you're standing in your power. You're like, I want it all back. Everything that you took from me, I said, I want it all back. That's um, Dorinda Clark. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a Jew box. But yeah, um, also somebody thought that you was, um, that, like, I feel like somebody thought that they had you figured out. Thank you, mother. Somebody thought that they had you figured out, boy. And you know what? I feel like that's whoever, that, that's these people that was trying to put out your flame. Yeah, because the flame went out. The flame went out only because there's no more uh, uh, wick. Somebody thought that they put something out or they stopped something because the flame went out or something stopped. Somebody thought that they were the reason that something didn't work or something didn't work for you. Or somebody thought that they put a, a blockage. Somebody thought that they they extinguished something but it was only because it was no more wick 
and no more wax. That was the, look, they didn't do shit. They didn't do anything. Somebody thought, I'm telling you, they thought that they had you figured out, but they didn't understand that. It was because there was no more wick in wax. All you had to do was, you know, get a wick and get some wax and light it back up. <laughs> like somebody thought that they caused major blockages or ma like, like major headaches. You know, somebody thought that they was really putting you under some type of major shit. But all you had to do was go to Target, Target, I don't know. All you had to do was get your candle stuff back and light your flame again. Okay? And I feel like some that's oh, that's somebody's mindset too when it comes to some somebody's doing some type of candle magic. Somebody's doing some type of candle magic on you and they and they flame keep going out and these people keep going back trying to buy, you know, um, uh, more things and more stuff. It's like somebody somebody is all bugged out. Yeah, because I feel like somebody think that they 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 got you figured out, but they don't have you figured out because they don't have the same heart as you. Somebody is is making decisions in, about you and, and movements and 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 I they have ideas about you and they have you know um, plans for you, but they don't have the same heart like you do. So it's like not, nothing that they whatever they think that they got figured out is everything that's beneath you, everything that's the past you, everything that's the old you. It's like they don't know nothing about this new you. I feel like somebody is new. They don't know nothing about the new you because you have a, a new heart. You went through heart surgery and it was heart surgery with the divine. The divine put your heart back together, okay? This person, you're walking around with the upgraded, updated heart from the divine. These people or whoever this is, is still walking around with an outdated heart and they're making outdated moves. Moves that that would have only worked in the 18th century. <laughs> Somebody's making trying to make moves on you that would have only worked in the 18th century. My gosh. <laughs> G3. They don't got you figured out, baby. Let's get deep into this energy. I love it. Somebody here does spoken word too. It's time to do. It's time to do spoken word. It's time to go to some type of spoken word. Somebody's going to a spoken word night. Somebody's a poet, and they probably don't even know it. Listen, pick up a pen and a piece of paper and start writing because you're gonna. Because by the by the end of this summer, you're gonna find yourself at a whole bunch of spoken word places. Okay, is what I'm just is what I just heard. Somebody got the talent. Okay, it's natural. You've been writing poetry since a child, something like that, and you took a break. You took a pause. It's time to pick it back up. Okay, what else is going on for my G3 family this weekend? Yes, 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 somebody's in their power. Somebody is moving with intention this weekend, and they want you to listen to them. And I feel like you have to trust the universe when it comes to this situation, all right? I feel like you can go towards this with this step back in reverse. Normally, with the step back in the upright, it's like take a step back. But when it's in reverse, it's like you can step towards something. So with this yes here, I feel like somebody is making some type of power move, okay? Or somebody's take they're making some type of power move towards you, or you could be making some type of power move within within this this just realm. I don't know. You're doing something. You're making some type of power move because your intuition is leading you. Your intuition is leading you higher. Your intuition is putting you on a new level, a new taking you to a new dimension. Okay, you you have yeah access has been granted for you to go to a new dimension. Okay, because of your position, because of your power, because of some type of upgrade. All right, so I feel like you're going to some type of new dimension. Maybe even in your dreams, your dream state. There's something about your dream state that's about to activate this weekend. All right, um, yeah, learning experience. Yeah, something that you had to learn. All right. I feel like somebody was, um, ah, somebody said, yes, look, divine timing. Um, what's that? What's that? So completely. Yes. My soul says, yeah, yes. Lord. Completely. That's all I, that's all I, 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 I can't hear the other part of the song. My soul says, yes. Um, Will your heart and soul 
say yes. Will your spirit still say yes? There is more that I require of thee. Oh, it's divine timing. You're going through some type of portal. There is more that I require of thee. Yeah, some type of learning experience. You went through some type of learning experience that took you through some type of portal, but it was because there was more that I require of thee. You said yes. 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 My Yes. Yeah, it's like you you said yes. You answered the call. You answered you, you moved. Okay, and I feel like this is what has activated this heart. When I was picking up on somebody who had the heart, you just got a heart for it. And it's because you said yes. And when you said yes, you went through some type of learning experiences. You went through some type of portal because there was more that I required of me. Ooh, you had to follow, find your light. That's what it was. It was like they, it's, it's one thing to say yes, but still be wrapped up in somebody else's light. They needed you to find your own light. They needed you to follow your own light. They needed you to believe in this heart that beats in your chest. Huh? Huh? That's what they needed. That's really what they needed for real. Okay. What else is going on? Mm, manifestations. I feel like because you said yes and went through something, you, you're about to manifest or you're about to bring something towards you. Okay, mother. Let me get one, one more card. Oh. Vulnerability and freedom. Mm. Look, no at the bottom of the deck. You say a no to everything that's coming up against this coming up against this freedom. See, there's freedom. There was there's freedom in the yes. You had to find your own light though in order to access this freedom. You had to find your own light in order to realize that you were a star. You had to reach for the stars to realize you was just reaching for yourself. See, this this is this is the path of yes. Yay! That's what I'm saying. You learned when to say yes and you learned when to say no. And that helped you bring in this freedom. That helped that and that's helping you manifest. See, this week, your yes and your no is very important. This weekend, okay, maybe from this weekend and out throughout the rest of this week, okay, throughout the, the rest of life, your yes, but most importantly this weekend, your yes and your no is very important. It's going to, it's going to signify like what happens from this point on. Your yes and your no is what is creating your story. It's going to, it's, it's, it's what I'm, I can't get the word. It's going to determine, yeah, thank you mother. It's going to determine, your yes and your no is going to determine what you manifest. Okay. Your yes and your no is, is so important this weekend. It really is. Because anything, like I said, that's blocking your vulnerability and your freedom, anything that's taking you out of this energy of you being, you know, um, in your power, you walking in your truth, they, it's, it's a no. It's a no. And that's a fact. You got to say no to these people. People that don't see you, that don't accept you, that don't allow you to follow your own light. You went through some shit, baby. You, you went through some things with this learning experience here. You went through it. So how are they going to tell you what you can do and how you can do it? And it, it's like somebody want to block you. But now, somebody, yeah, somebody tried to block you, but they're being blocked off because of your manifestations. You block people out of your life because of what you are manifesting. Because you realize that you could not get what you wanted with certain people in your life. You could not get what you wanted with certain things in your life. You could not get what you wanted with certain addictions. You could not get what you wanted with certain with certain actions. You could not get what you wanted going to certain places. You realize this you could not 
So you have to start saying no. 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 I love you, but no. No. Somebody here is a musician. Somebody here is a musician. Have faith. It's a musician that needs to have faith. Okay? Somebody here, somebody can play some type of um, instrument or play some type of, um, I don't know, guitar or what is this? I forgot what the name what's the name of that um what is, what is that I can't even think of it right now but yes yeah, something somebody 33 33 to 48 is significant faith somebody's listening to a lot of music or it's time to listen to some music. Music is going to help elevate you. Tapping into your gifts is going to help elevate you. The silence is going to help elevate you. The drum is going to help elevate you. You are an ascended master. Nature elevates you. The, the, the frequency, energy, and vibrations is what elevates the frequency energy and vibrations okay um and yeah you're getting a lot of support okay a lot of support from the universe all right be mindful of what you're eating all right be mindful of what you're drinking okay somebody has tapped into their tree of life Whatever type of skill, gift, instrument, singing, writing, whatever you do, okay, whatever creative art this is, whatever creative gift this is, it activates your tree of life. It activates the most, the, the most sacred uh, aspect of you. It activates the highest frequency in you, which is love. Okay, because it's because it's what you love to do. It's your passion. It it, it activates and it lights your fire. This is why somebody that tried to figure you out so they can put out your fire, but they didn't know that, you know, they didn't, they didn't know that they couldn't put out your fire. You had a, a fire that had, a, that, that had an everlasting burn and that even if it did go out, it was because it needed some more wax and just another wick, not anything else. <laughs> I feel like somebody is being guided down some type of path that's really it's like you know you have this gift yes but it's like you know you cannot get to a place of freedom until you learn to find yourself so what is the point it's like okay you got the gift you found the gift but don't find the gift and not find yourself because it's an imbalance and mother it's it's like we're not doing imbalances anymore okay we're not this is that that imbalance shit is for all of that it's for for everything else every all these other programs that this world have to offer it's like when you're when you're tapping into the program of mother or the or the program of of the most high your ancestors you're tapping into the program of growth the program of elevation the program of going higher and you're doing what and, and and you're going through whatever is necessary to go for you to go through for you to get to that point somebody here knows how to it's like somebody knows that there is no is an ocean it's like somebody it's like the water knows that there is an ocean like the water in this bottle knows that there is an ocean. It's like somebody's water. Somebody knows that there is an ocean. It's like people out here that be in bottles that don't know that, you know, people that be like, you know, your emotions, the bottle, this bottle is you, your water. Okay. Your water is connected to an ocean. You, somebody here, water knows that there is something bigger than them. Okay, somebody here don't and, and, and somebody here don't know that. And I feel like whoever got control of their yes and no realized that they were just a part of something bigger. Okay, they were a part of something bigger. And this energy that you move in, when you know that you are a part of something bigger, your posture is different. Your posture is different. Where your hands are are different. Your focus is different. Your sight is different. Your boundaries are different. 
Let me get one more. Solar plexus chakra. Yeah, something about what you're eating and what you're drinking is very important this weekend, okay? 33, 48, 15, 27 is, is significant. All right, let's see what else is going on with this energy. Strength, Leo energy. Um, somebody has, yeah, somebody got the got the courage to say yes to something. Somebody, somebody found their heart and got the courage to say yes for their um for their self growth, okay, for their financial wealth. It's like somebody had to choose themselves in order to. It's like somebody had to choose themselves in order to get some type of abundance. All right, so somebody finally found the strength, okay, the passion, the influence, okay. They 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 got the courage to say yes, and the courage to say no, okay. Because somebody realized, like I said, they're, they're creating some type some type of legacy. Or oh, did I say that? I've been doing some some readings, but somebody here is like, this is about some type of legacy. This is about something that is is um. Like, like, like financial wealth, like inheritance. Like this is about somebody leaving some type of inheritance. Either you're getting some, you, you said yes, and now you're receiving some type of inheritance that's going to um, create a legacy or leave a legacy. All right. Clarify learning experiences. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this learning experience is leading you towards new love, true love, real love. Okay. This, this yes. And this path led you towards new beginnings, new relationships, new romance. Like this is what this is where you're going. Okay, this is where you're going. All you had to do was take control of your tongue. That's all you had to do was start saying no when you needed to say no. Okay, that's all you had to do in order to get these new beginnings, this new relationship, this new romance, this new happiness. All right. Page of Pentacles. It's some type of good news coming towards you. Okay, a lot of new, a lot of it's a lot, it's, and a lot of yeses, a lot of yeses. I feel like now, now that you have learned when to say no, mother's going to put like bring forth a lot of yeses to you. Okay, because I feel like yeah, somebody had to learn some hard lessons in order to learn how to say no. Okay. And, and, and now it's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to be vulnerable. It's time for you to be free because you learned the lessons. So it's time for you to celebrate. It's like the universe is not, you know, mother is not going to keep, you know, punishing you or, or keep taking you through things so you can learn how to say no when you learn how to say no. Now it's a celebration. Now it's, you know, it's, you know, you passed the test. You, you, you walked across the, what is it? Um, the stage and got your diploma it's like now it's, it's the party now so it's like it's a lot of yeses that's going to come towards you all right um i feel like stay open-minded about something something about some type of student loans all right stay open about your goals stay open about the things that you are creating all right i feel like um you're starting something from the ground up you're starting something from the ground all right. So just just be patient with yourself as because it's, it's new, but it's, it's going to be successful. OK, it truly is. Yeah. With this empress here, like I said, look. Yes. Again, all of these yeses because you learned how to say no. That's crazy. All of these yeses, all of these yeses, you manifested a lot of yeses learning how to say no by cutting some shit out, learning how and what to cut out, learning how to take, I want it all back. Taking control and taking charge, taking, I, I'm going towards opportunity and change all because you learned how to say no. And I could be talking to an empress in it, um, an empress, a female, a divine feminine, or just could be a divine masculine. That's like, yeah, you went within and you learned how to say no. This is what happened. You went within and you learned how to say no. I can be talking to a Libra energy, okay? And your no expanded you. Your no is what led you to all of these yeses. Your no is what led you to your empire. Your no. Your no. Your no. That's how powerful words are. See, people, there's power in yes. But there is power in no, too. And I feel like you're reaping all of the power 
in the notes that you have now learned to say. Every time you say no, you get a yes. Mm, 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 mm. All right? You are an empress. Somebody here is pregnant. Somebody here is pregnant. Somebody, it's time to go on, go on bed rest. Something about bed rest. Maybe somebody's pregnant. The doctor's going to put them on bed rest. Okay? Something about your ankles are swollen. Okay? Something about swollen ankles. All right? Somebody feels like they're not beautiful because something's going on with it, them being pregnant or something like that. But you're, you're very beautiful. Okay? You're very beautiful. You're, you're in your most powerful not even powerful your most creative you're, you're women when they're pregnant they're they're in their most creative energy so it's not about being beautiful it's about being creative right now okay there's a time and place for everything you and, and then beauty is in the eye of the beholder you got to know that you're beautiful okay Look in that mirror and tell yourself that you are beautifully and wonderfully made every day, no matter how you feel, because you are in control of these emotions. You are in control. I am the author of my own story. Okay? Okay, my Empress energy. I'm getting Cancer, Virgo, and Leo energy, okay? Yeah, they want to... um. Whatever whatever skill this is, somebody here is a musician, rapper, singer, somebody does something with music, okay? Whatever this is, it's time to have patience. It, it's time to put in more work, okay? I feel like somebody here is a, is a perfectionist. Ah, maybe somebody got to do something, but they're, they're, they're prolonging something because they're trying, they're trying to perfect something. Somebody's trying to, yeah, somebody's trying to perfect something. Somebody thought that you were, they defeated you. Somebody thought that they defeated you. Like I said, somebody felt, felt like they had you figured out. But the truth of the matter is, is that, because somebody thought that they, them telling you no, or them rejecting you was going to defeat you. But I feel like you said no to the defeat. You said no to whatever was. I feel like somebody was trying to do something. You said no to it. And that's why you, you're getting in a bunch of yeses. Because you, you changed your focus. You started to work on yourself. You started to work on your life. Your business. Your reputation. You know. You started to work on what you concentrated on. Work on your success. You wanted to accomplish some things in life. You was working on your ambition, okay? And you realize along this journey that your confidence, especially with, with my musicians and my people that, you know, that have these, these, these gifts that, um, you know, gifts of spoken word or, you know, stuff like that. It's like you realize that your confidence was your key to success. In your focus, your confidence and your focus was your key to success. Clarify miracle of um, faith. Yeah, they just really want you to re remain faithful in this situation. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on this music career. Somebody has some type of music career. Don't give up on it. Somebody has some type of singing, rap, you know, instrument. It's like, don't give up on it. Yeah. Yeah, yo, another yes. Another yes. Another yes. Your faith. How your faith in yourself. Your faith in your positive, like your positive energy, your positive attitude, your, your childlike energy is bringing you a yes. Whoever this is, is having a son. Somebody, like I said, somebody's pregnant. They're pregnant with a son. This son is going, there's something about this son at 19. Okay? 10 through 19 is going to be very significant for this son. Somebody is about to have a son. Somebody's having a son this year. From, from age 10 to 19 with this son is going to be very significant. Okay? Oh, there's something about the moon. Oh, they charge up. Somebody has a son. Somebody has a 10-year-old. 
from 10 to 19, they're going to be charging up. It's something about the intuition is going to be heightened every year from 10 to 19. Okay? Take a leap of faith. Oh, yeah. It's like, because the, the, it's like you got out, somebody got out of this, I don't know, energy and just surrendered and just, and just trusted in this connection, trusted in, in some type of miracle. Somebody had hope. Hope kept something alive is what I just heard. Okay. Hope kept something alive. Hope is very powerful. So, so somebody's son could have been sick or something. Somebody have a son between 10 and 19 that could be sick. But it's something about somebody's fate, somebody's hope in something. It's, 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 it's what's going to keep their son alive. It's another thing I'm picking up on. Okay, family? Um, they want you to take leaps of faith with this gift. They want you to take risks. I feel like somebody has been... You went through a lot of a lot of experiences, and maybe you've been doing a lot of work in a work, but it's time to it's time to get out there, especially with this sun energy. It's time to shine, especially with the strength. A lot of Leo energy, okay. It's, I could be talking to Leo, but it's definitely time to shine, okay. Look, look at this shine. I feel like you saw this like boom. Solar plexus deal, deals with your intuition, so your intuition is, is really trying to make somebody take some type of leap of faith, okay. It's going to lead, this leap of faith is leading you towards a yes. It's leading you towards good news. It's leading you towards, you know, um, abundance. I feel like um, some, this, this, this leap is going to energize you. It's going to make you feel young again. Make you look young again. I'm here in vitality. Okay. Clarify solar plexus. Yeah another yes my gosh my gosh my gosh another yes my gosh one two three four five six seven yeses seven is significant okay seven is significant um february 7th is significant is what i'm hearing as well there's some type of love situation okay somebody's writing some type of love song somebody's about to somebody's working on some type of love song is what i just heard and, the, and thank you you hear the birds confirming? Yes. It, this can be a Gemini. You can be a Gemini. Okay. Um, I'm also getting Mercury energy. So a lot of talking. Yeah. A lot, somebody wants to either write some type of poem about you, sing some type of song about you. Okay. What's that song? Um, I just can't stop writing songs about you. I love you so much. Just can't wait to get my arms around you and feel your touch. 33.12 on the clock, okay? If I don't see you real soon, baby girl, I might go insane. I know it's only been three hours, but I love it when you call my name. I love it when you call me, call me, uh, call my name. <laughs> That's Prince. <laughs> I forgot how that last part went. But yeah, I just can't stop writing songs about you. I love you so much. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on somebody writing, writing some type of songs about you. I just can't wait to get my arms around you and feel your touch. If I don't see you real soon, baby girl, I might go insane. I know it's only been three hours, but I love it when you call my name. Ooh. That's one of my favorite princes. My, one of my favorite Prince songs. Aquarius Energy, 17 is significant. Okay, a lot of sevens here. All right. I was picking up on sevens too earlier. Cancer Energy, Venus Energy as well what is that Taurus and Libra energy but somebody here is manifesting and I feel like your intuition is just trying to try, it's, I feel like somebody's intuition is trying to keep them 
in some type of high vibrational energy. So yeah, somebody's intuition is telling you to say no to a lot of things because there's a lot of yeses coming towards you. You're about to hear seven yeses, okay? Seven yeses. Seven things are going to work out in your favor. It just is what it is. All because of one no. All because of one thing you put a boundary up to. You said no one time and now mother is about to rain down on you with seven yeses. This is beautiful energy. I love this. You are the one. They said um, you are the one to get Neo, okay? The neocortex is what I'm getting too. So look up the neocortex, the brain. I'm also getting... Um, I don't know, I'm getting the sun too. So the sun energy. Something about somebody's sun. What's that song? Oh my gosh. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've been here by... No, that's not the song. What's the song? I... It's a, my... a smooth criminal. Billy Jean is not my lover. Oh, she's just a girl that thinks that I am the one. The kid is not my son. That's what it is. Somebody trying to put some type of sun on you. So I am the one. Oh, oh, oh. The kid is not my son. Or oh, somebody trying to act like they that's not their son. I don't know. Something about something about that. Okay. But yeah, I feel like there's some type of union coming coming together all because of one no okay all because of one no there's some type of success in some type of in your in your career in your music in your gift all because of one no there's there's some type of alignment there's some type of elevation there's some type of growth all because of one no okay let's see what else is going on with this energy all because of one no Give me some something with this this pile over here. What's going on? Because somebody had to learn something. They went through. You went. I feel like somebody had to really go through some things to, to find their inner strength, boy. Okay, it was like their inner strength. That heart was locked up. That courage was locked up. Okay, something about a wealthy man. All right, and a privileged lady. So there's a wealthy man and a privileged lady that's about to work work together along some type of path. You can. Um, uh, be prepared for a message. Somebody's in despair about this too. Somebody's in despair about this privileged, this privileged lady and this wealthy man um, coming together, working together along some type of path. But there's some type of message. And look at that seven again. Okay, something about July. There's some type of path. I mean, yeah, there's some type of path that has to happen, or there's some type of journey that this wealth, this privileged lady and this wealthy man has to go down. So whoever is in despair. Somebody, um, yeah, I feel like it's uh, some type of official person. Somebody, um, I feel like somebody, some type of official person or, or some type of community is in despair, okay? When it comes to this situation, somebody can be in despair when it comes to their child as well. Let me see. Give me something for this. Uh, the weekend wine. Yeah, somebody is a singer. Somebody is a singer or they do some type of music. It's like something about your music is going to be successful. Have faith in this. Have faith in this. You you write your own story, okay? Look, great fortune. Have faith in this. You write your own story, okay? Have something about um, your family is going to give you a gift. Or you're, you're a gift to the family. Or, yeah, oh, the family is going to try to steal some type of gift from you, some type of great fortune. Some type of family wanted to lock you, imprison you, and steal your fortune, steal your gifts, okay? That's what they wanted to do. They tried to take something to, all the way to court. Somebody's going to, somebody's family is going to try to take them to court for some type of great fortune, okay? All right? Somebody's concerned about your great fortune. And they're going to try to take you to some, some type of courthouse. They're going to try to get some type of official people involved with something. Let's see what's, what's going on with some some physical features what's going on somebody got a lot of tattoos somebody's tatted all right somebody has a 13 year old or a 12 year old somebody's 35 26 somebody has red hair somebody's 21 somebody name starts with the i a t first last middle name i t or g p 
L. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Somebody is a little plus size. Somebody could be saying that you plus size. Somebody got blue eyes. Somebody got a mohawk. Somebody's tall. Somebody's light skin. Yeah, mohawk came out. Mohawk heavy. Somebody has those um, circle ear, um, earrings. I feel like I'm getting... Yeah, somebody's short. They could have... Uh, red wavy hair or black wavy hair somebody has green eyes somebody likes to wear color contacts all right let me get two more who is this mother who is this that my g3 is dealing with okay somebody has brown um curly hair short curly hair um somebody makes wigs somebody is petite they're short and petite all right somebody got a small foot is what i just heard they got brown hair came out again. Somebody has a beard, all right? Somebody has, um, somebody's in some type of biker group. Somebody is, um, somebody is a waitress is what I just heard, or a waiter or a bar, a bartender or something like that. Yes, somebody's connected to fairies. Okay, somebody has hair down their back. All right, or they have inches down their back. Okay, let's see what else is going on. What else is going on with this person, this wealthy man, or what, what else is going on for this uh weekend mother? Denial, somebody's in denial about your happiness. Somebody don't think that you're happy, but you're really happy. Okay, somebody think that you're that you're fronting with your happiness because you told them no or something, but you're really happy. Okay. Yeah, I feel like relationships, you're happy and you're happy. I feel like maybe somebody's happy with this relationship and self-esteem. Somebody's happy being single. Somebody feels like, like you're acting like you're happy, but you really are happy single or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like you have the courage to accept who you are, accept yourself. Well, yeah, it's something about you have discipline, and this discipline led towards success and led you towards some type of real love. So somebody is um, trying to say that you, that, okay, that you're in denial about, like, you're happy. Like, you're, you know, like, you're, you're faking it. They're trying to say that you're, you're faking this, but you're actually not. You've actually built up your self-esteem because it's self-esteem <laughs> it's the esteem of yourself okay what is it who is that um who is that ah, i can't think of his name right now somebody used to be a pimpany pass like okay what is his name i can't think of his name cat williams yeah somebody cats are significant but cat williams somebody's last name is williams okay uh, forge don't follow so make sure you're going down this new path because you are a golden child okay so this weekend make sure your nose this one no you said one no one no is what this this one no somebody got to say no to something somebody got to deny something somebody got to say no to something okay all paths leads home this no is leading somebody home okay this no is helping somebody crack the code is what is what i'm saying somebody is wants to say sorry but it's something about Oh, somebody is saying sorry. Some type of messenger. Somebody has a, some type of messenger? Somebody's a messenger. Somebody wants to come and tell you that somebody is sorry or something like that. Somebody, oh, something, maybe you're done with something. Somebody made some type of final decision this weekend. That's what it is. Somebody's saying no this weekend to something. All right. And this no is going to lead them to seven yeses. All right, somebody feels like they're going, they, they lost you or they did lose you because you're going down some type of path of, of love and success. Yeah, yeah, if you crack the cold, you crack the cold when you hit rock bottom is what I just heard. Um, yeah, somebody here is a golden child. Somebody here is, um, somebody here is a scientist. Somebody here does do something about science. 44 on the clock here. Yeah, somebody very intuitive, okay? Somebody has a sixth sense. Somebody goes beyond science, okay? Somebody goes beyond science. It's like your intuition, yeah, it's like you are the change. Something something about you changing science. Somebody's changing science. 
somebody's intuition is changing science. Well, that's what's about to happen. A lot of people are going to, their psychic abilities is going to change science. Like science is going to have to, you know, bow down. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what that's what's happening right now. Science is bowing down to metamorphosis or to or to regeneration or something like that. It's something about regeneration. It's something about genesis. Okay, science is bowing down to genesis. Ex-lover, family, memory of the past, old flame. Yes, it's some type of. <sighs> there's some type of old um, old flame. Maybe somebody that you had some type of family with that you got to change. Something is changing in that situation. Your intuition is leading you towards real love and success. Or maybe this can be an ex that wants to change some type of situation with you. Okay. Okay. But like I said, one no is going to lead to seven yeses. So make sure. Yeah. This is somebody who... Um, who was trying to marry you or somebody that you had a marriage with yeah with some type of toxic relationship okay some type of toxic relationship that you ghosted for some type of magnetic attraction okay for somebody that was single somebody had some type of magnetic attraction to somebody that was single so they ghosted some type of toxic relationship okay maybe they was going to marry this person they wanted to marry this person or they were married to this person but now this person is an ex-lover and i feel like this person might try to um you know, come back, take a, take a, take some type of risk and come back. But it's something about no. Okay. Something about no, it was toxic. It was a lot of, um, codependent energy, a lot of fighting. Okay. It's a lot of fighting in this situation is what I'm picking up on. All right. Um, somebody thought that they were the one, this ex lover thought that they were the one that you was going to marry them, but it was some, it, it was a toxic situation. Okay. And I feel like you got to ghost the situation or you ghosted this situation because of some type of magnetic attraction. And, and maybe this person is going to try to come back this weekend, but you have to, you know, you, you got to do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's something about a wealthy man, a privileged lady anyway. Yeah. I feel like somebody's meeting some type of wealthy man, a privileged lady anyway. Yeah. Because somebody is single now. Somebody is single now. So they meet some type of wealthy man. A wealthy lady. A privileged lady. Yeah. Somebody's about to... Maybe you're meeting this person on the internet. Okay. Somebody's going to ask you out on the internet. Somebody's going to either... Um, yeah. It's like they're going to maybe even tuned in. Maybe they're tuned in. Maybe somebody does something. Somebody's an influencer. Somebody does something on, online. You have a page. You do something. It's like somebody's going to interact with you, invite you somewhere, invite you out. Okay. This person is... is kind of scared okay so they're looking at your page they're looking at your stuff through like fake profiles okay that's what i'm seeing somebody's looking at your page oh somebody's looking at your page through some type of fake profile want some type of retaliation okay this could be oh this is the ex-lover wow they had that all under it's all over the same pile that's that's somebody ex-lover okay whoever you was in some type of toxic relationship with is going through some type of anxiety all right they're hiding behind some type of fake profiles on social media or whatever and um you know but this was a toxic situation and i feel like you got to say no to this all right in order to receive these yeses all right g3 let's close it out 48 on the clock thank you so much for tuning in to the end i hope you got some clarity on whatever you going true all right if you want to leave yes as a donation all of my information is down below and if you want to book listen i got a new book inside oh come book with your sis okay let's tap in and we'll go higher together but um thank you so much mother for this opportunity to reach my beautiful g3 family give us clear direct messages as we close out some advice for my g3 oh they say it they said no they found they found the power in no and the comfort in yes or the comfort in yes in the, the i mean the the power in yes and the comfort in no however it goes you found the g3 you found it thank you mother they said take inspired action virgo take inspired action oh there's a virgo that's about to take some inspired action towards you okay reveal what needs to be seen reveal what needs to be seen reveal the truth all right scorpio energy know your worth taurus taurus energy know your worth stop being stubborn i heard uh, somebody something about somebody's being stubborn all right um Somebody's first, last, middle initial is N, M, or T, all right? Um, full moon in Aquarius, be real. 
So somebody's trying to have some some type of poker face on. They're not showing their emotions, showing their feelings. But it's time for you to be real. Maybe there's an Aquarius that want to be real with you. You are very close to achieving your your dreams. So I feel like this wealthy man is very a close to achieving this privileged lady, and this privileged lady is very a close to achieving this wealthy man. I feel like you are very a close to achieving whatever goals this is, as as far as whatever music career, whatever gifts that you have, whatever type of spoken word. It's like it's like because you got the heart, you are very close to achieving your goals. But whoever tried to stop you, tried to find some type of routine to get you on, to try to put out your flame, it's it's like they they they're not even important. Okay, they're not even important. Important. All right. I feel like the only thing that's important for you right now is what you're manifesting in these seven yeses that are coming to you. I love you, G3. And until next time. Bye.